What's up, everybody? This is Recap and Rewind. I'm Jay Lag. And I'm NB. And we are recapping and reviewing Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Season 1, Episode 9. And it's called The, the Returned, Returned Man. Man. Ooh. And don't forget, guys, stick around for the ending because we are going to go through our recap roundups, our best moments, our best lines. So be sure to stick around for that. Mm-hmm. And if you're returning for the very first time, if you're coming through for the very first time, thanks so much for coming through. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. You're welcome. And if you're coming through for the third, fourth, fifth, infinity amount of times, thanks for coming back. Make sure you guys uh, just like listen. And, and comment below. Yeah, comment below. Come through. So let's start right at the top because this is a long ass yes. episode. So let's get Hunker right down, into it. It was mofos. really good. Um, what's the first thing that we see? We're at we're at the Kinkle household, house. and uh, the editors did like some little little switcheroo with us because it started last episode and ended off with her with somebody knocking at the Kinkle door, and we're like, oh, oh, he's back. But then uh, it's actually Sabrina, but it actually was Tommy, but it was like a time jump. So this episode starts off with like somebody banging on the door, and it's actually Sabrina, and. Uh, Harvey's like, yo, my brother's back now. And she's like, oh, shit, really? I didn't realize. How I is just he? Did oh, my God. Does he look dead? <laughs> and he's like, she's like, uh, yeah, so that's all she says. And then he's, and he says, he's like, he's not, like, talking or eating. Like, he definitely is totally which, fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, just, I mean, he's just really happy to see him. He's like, oh, my God, like, Sabrina, she, he's back. I'm just really, really happy about that. But Sabrina just, like, looks very, very worried. She's like, can I go see him? And the dad, like, closes the door. Yeah. Clearly, like, he's like, no, no. No one's allowed to see him. So then it comes back to the Sm Spellman household. And Ambrose is, like, getting ready for school because he's becoming, like, a teacher at yeah. the school. And that's, like, a quick moment with Hilda. And then it cuts to the academy. And Zelda and Blackwood are, like, secretly sexing oh each other. Oh, my God. And I was like, is this the dungeon that they were doing the harrowing in? I was like, why does it look so familiar? Because it's, like, that long kind of hallway, and it's, like, so dark and dingy. And even Maybe Zelda it says. it probably is. She's like, why the fuck are we? Why are we fucking in this, like, yeah. dark area? And um, he's like, we like, just need to. Up, bitch. He's like, nobody knows about this situation. And he continues to, like, shit all over his wife. Basically, he's like, yeah. my wife sucks. Like, I don't know if she's going to be a good mom. I'm like, wow. Way to throw shade. Like, and it was weird because, like, in the beginning, he was all for her. He's like, she's he's my like, like, love or whatever. Oh, and then now he's all like, just pop my baby out. And, like, I'm going to be done with this bitch. Like, I'm like, wow. Yeah, he was savage. He literally says, I thought he was going to say, like, when my wife dies, a.k.a. I'll kill her. Are you going to be my wife now yeah. to Zelda? Yeah. But instead, he says, do you want to be my the, the godmother to the babies? And she's like, yeah. Us, I'd be honored and then he's like also my girl's gonna go on mat leave slash like I'm gonna kill her he sounded so, like, shady. so like, shady if anything happens to my kids you, you want to be their godmother yeah. if anything happens to the choir teacher join me like the, the, teacher? <laughs> the teacher so then yeah she says yes to both positions she's gonna yeah. be like the she's interim like, yes, director yes, yes, yes. Um, cause she like wants to do so horny on him I know it's so weird I don't know how I feel about this situation um, so then I cut to the Spellman household and Ambrose and Sabrina are like talking and Ambrose is like so how's Tommy and Sabrina's like yeah he's he's great he's, he's totally great he's totally fine and Ambrose like once again says like no everyone literally told you not to do it and you fucking did this damn thing um, he's not eating or talking and then Ambrose is like he's not eating or talking are you fucking serious like this is a serious situation Major. we're gonna have to tell people and uh, Sabrina's like no like it'll, he'll go back to normal it's totally fine I'm just happy that Harvey's brother's back yeah. that's like the best part of this whole situation because clearly that's like, the only reason why you did it so then it cuts to the academy and all the girls in the orphanage are praying like not all the girls in the orphanage but the weird sisters are praying yeah. they're like dear satan thank you for my busted day um and agatha doesn't look good she's like huh, huh, huh. yeah and uh prudence is like what's going on with you bitch and she starts like throwing up soil and so then it cuts back to the Spellman household and Serena like just took a shower and Salem's like meowing and Nick is astral projecting in her room. Mm -hmm. And he's like, listen, girlfriend, Agatha is throwing She's up soil. Yeah. And um, even at that point in time, Sabrina's like, what does it have to do with me? I'm like, uh, like you, girl, you literally just killed, her. killed her and then buried her in the ground. There is definitely a connection there. And um, he asked in that moment, too, like, how's Tommy doing? And he's like, she's fine. Like, she's like, he's fine. Like, it's not a big deal. He's just like, kind of like recouping or whatever. And then 
uh, he's like, something's wrong with Agatha. You need to like come through. And then she doesn't. Mm -hmm. She's just like, sorry about it. Useless. It's not my problem. Yeah. And then as soon as he leaves, like the astral projection, uh, Sabrina's like, yo, Salem, can you like just check on Tommy? Because like Loki, I think something's wrong. Which which is kind of like pretty savage for Sabrina at this point. Because if if Tommy was fine mm -hmm. and Agatha wasn't, like she'd give no shits. Like yeah. she'd be like, I don't care. I killed her and like whatever. Now she's like there. Which is pretty like, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty ruthless for her character to do that. Even at this for moment. Her, like for when her they not ask, to care. They're like, yo, you screwed something up. Like, is Tommy good? She straight up just lies about Tommy. And then she like rejects Agatha's yeah. problem too. This is the one thing that I was kind of annoyed about this episode is they're really making her not likable this episode. This for episode, sure. yeah. I was very disappointed in her character and the way they wrote her. Like she really like done failed everybody. And yeah, this is definitely one of the things where she's like, nope, everything is great. Yep, I definitely cheated death and uh, we're good. So like you spend half the fucking episode her making her realize that she's done fucking something up and then the other half of it her trying to fix it so it's just a little annoying but anyway uh it cuts to the kinko household and tommy's just like zombified yeah. he's like staring at a mirror and he's like tapping at his reflection yeah. he's like totally out of it and even H harvey's like here take a look at pic some pictures yeah. and like whatever and he kind of like takes a look at like w him playing football i didn't know what the connection was i'm like oh he like remembers the moment or whatever himself or something maybe a little bit so then i'm like okay they're gonna play football i guess which they do later <laughs> harvey's like you want to play football because <laughs> it's like in the middle of the fucking night but whatever so then it cuts to Susie's plays and sh this is like Susie yeah, had the weirdest storyline ever this episode. I was like, if it wasn't weird last episode, it got even weirder <laughs> this episode. I don't know what to think, but essentially she's talking to her ghost aunt, great, great, great aunt, this entire episode. And they're like whispering. Like, she's like, I've yeah. never done this before. <laughs> this is so weird she's to like, me. ASMR. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, who the fuck is this bitch talking to? Like, what's going on? And her dad's the like same way. like a pen to the room. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then what she's talking to her aunt. Do we see the aunt in that moment? No, not yet, right? So like, and that's the thing. Even the camera shots are weird. Like it's just facing the door, but you like. But you hear Susie talking. You can, yeah, like you can see she's her obviously talking. not in the closet. Like, like she's outside. I've never done anything like this before. I'm like, what are you about to do, yeah. girl? Like you're weird. And then he uh, knocks on the door. Like her dad data, comes yeah. and he's like, "Hey, Susie, are can you come in here? Like who are you talking to? <laughs> like, he like, heard her. No, you're good. Yeah, like obviously, like you're in a freaking room yeah. only by with your dad. Like obviously he's gonna hear you." Um, and she says, like, if my dad ever found this out, I'd be so like, much, what are so talking much trouble. About? I'm like, oh, my God, what the fuck are you talking about? So then it cuts to Hilda, and she gets a phone call at the house yeah. from the other miners. And she's like, okay, we have to, like, bury the, the bodies. The bodies are all like, coming. They're all going to yeah. come through. And at that moment in time, like, Sabrina's like, oh, the bodies, right, the bodies. Because, like, Tommy's is not going to be there. Yeah. Um, and Ambrose is like, don't worry. She, like, kind of, like asks him like Loki to be like can you just like do like, it be there when so the then Ambrose come. is the one that like helps out and Delta's like cool because I'm not gonna be here because I'm gonna be the director of the choir and I'm gonna be like, like I'm, gonna I'm be, like, like been chosen to be like she's so feeling herself yeah, it's annoying almost it's like, just it's annoying but also like how come this hasn't happened for them yet? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> how come this is only happening in this moment? Like, literally, Blackwood is only I using guess her. Of Sabrina, but like she's if she was this special from the get-go like from like year one to 15 you'd think that like like zelda would have been like a part of the school yeah. a part of like the lit community for from time like yeah. why is she just now yeah. becoming a part of it because she's fucking blackwood like yeah. it's weird to me so then it cuts to school and sabrina obviously she stole the necromancy book from wardwell so she's yeah. putting the book away and wardwell like she sees her like she catches her and she's like oh hey girl like what's going on what you doing and she's like oh you know i'm just like looking at your books like whatever and uh ward was like did you feel that like crazy win yesterday and she's like no i don't know what you're talking about she's like yeah it felt like death was coming yeah. back and i'm like okay she obviously knows and she even says, she's like, didn't you hear, like, the dogs yeah. howling? They were howling all night. And Sabrina's like, no, no, no idea. So she's lying to her. And then she kind of does say, like, Loki, like, you're not trying to steal the book of, like, the dead without asking me. And Sabrina's like, nope, I'm just going to take this other book for Mr. Blackwood. And um, then she, like, dips. Yeah. Then it cuts to Roz, and she's talking to Sabrina. And Roz is like, yo, I had the she's like craziest out. dream. Yeah. Um... And she was like, because I think at that point in time, Sabrina tells her like, oh, yeah, Tommy's like, alive. It's so good. Like, he's back. Yeah. Like, Harvey's so happy. And Ross is like, no, 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 no. She's no. like, no, no, this is not good. Like, this is not a good no thing. Because bueno. she's like, 
I had I saw the cunning. Or <laughs> I had the cunning. <laughs> I had the cunning. The cunning came to me last night, and uh, it was snowing, and I heard like all these crazy sounds, and there were dogs like eating a body. It like, was Tommy's. And body. She was like, it was Tommy's yeah. body, and there were like the these like dogs were eating it, and she was like. Oh, so what, was it like a dream or was it like what kind of thing was it? She's like, it was the cunning. And um, she doesn't say, I don't think she says that, but whatever. She just says like, it just doesn't feel good. Yeah. And then in this moment, it gives a chance to Sabrina to be like, oh my God. She's like, you know what? Real talk. Come here right now. I'm going to yeah. tell you something. She's like, I'm actually so worried about Tommy. She does like, like half a truth though, which is kind of annoying. I feel like this whole episode, she's telling half truths to all of her people. As much as she wants to share, I guess. Yeah. But she does say, she's like, I am worried about Harvey. I am worried yeah. about Tommy. Like he does, that doesn't look normal. Like, and she's like maybe you can use your like special powers yeah. now that you have powers because i don't got powers i'm not a witch yeah. <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about yeah so she's like yeah you can come through with your cunning and then maybe if like, you get close him, enough then... you can like see if like you can understand yeah. like if his brain is in there or whatever so then it cuts to the school of unseen arts and ambrose is talking to blackwood and he's like becoming a teacher what do you think of this whole storyline i feel like it feels very fake yeah or it feels like Black was just trying to get him on their side. Yeah. Do you know? I don't understand, like, why... Like I said, I think I said it last episode, too. Like, why is this happening now? Yeah, it's all why is it happening now it makes it feel very, like, sketchy. Yeah. So, anyway, he gets his own familiar, which is, like, a pretty amazing step mm -hmm. forward. And it's a little mouse. Which he really wanted it, too. So, he got, like, But, like, a mouse was kind of, like, crappy. I was like, what? But I guess he's, like, some next level goblin. Rat. Because, like, he opens up the box. Like, he had it already prepared. He was which like, makes I'm, it even look more sketchy. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. it just, like, and he said it's, like, called like, Leviathan. Don't, aren't you it's supposed like to, like, choose one. your own familiar? Yeah. It just, it was very weird. It's almost like yeah. they're choosing, like, a spy yeah, yeah. to be in and, the like, house And, like, the fact that he's, like, a rat. Like, it's a rat. It's very, like. Anyway, I, I hope it know. comes back around, but I'm just like this. Is such a this is such a random storyline. So also Lucas, what do you yeah. think of him? I don't in trust this story? him at all for sure either. And like even just the way like Blackwood was saying, like Lucas is helping me, like reforming yeah. the church. We're changing the laws. Like we're doing all these things. I was like, but why? But like, why? Why are you changing it now? And like, why is it all men in here? Like, why aren't there any True. girls like up in here trying to like change your laws too? Yeah. So it felt very much like they were just bringing him in, right? You know, and even just like Ambrose's like whole like character like role this season. Like he only got in because of Luke. Lucas. Right. Like Lucas, that yeah. felt very shady. So anyway, whatever. Blackwood like goes to class, and then. Luke and, Lucas and Ambrose just like start fucking in the fucking. Yeah. I was like, okay. Like, Thank you so much. That's fuck. I, was I like, mean, what? real talk, like, I wasn't, I wasn't mad at it personally, but I was like, you guys need to like, like lock the door. Like, choose a better place. Or, yeah. Like, it was literally in the student I don't lounge. Know, man. Like, it was just like, and you just started. Like, maybe get to work. Like, I don't know. Like, you don't <laughs> just, you just got a job and you don't have sex on like the principal's <laughs> couch. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Just a thought. So, as soon as they're hooking up, of course, so like halfway hooking up, um, Agatha and. No, not Agatha. Prudence. Prudence and like all the girls and I think even Nick yeah. Nick comes in. He's like, yo, like you guys got to come through. Um, something's happening to Agatha. Yeah. And um, I think even like Ambrose is like, what are you talking about? Uh, ab about this whole situation. He's asking about like how Tommy is. And uh, Nick is like, oh, but somebody told me that Tommy's fine. And Ambrose is like, no, like who told you that? And mm -hmm. he's like, Sabrina told me that, yeah. and then he's like, Sabrina. And I think because like I think because like she was buried in their in their cane pit or whatever. Yeah, they're like, you should know more information. Like she was buried on your soil, so like what the f's going on with yeah. her right now? Prudence just like wants to know what the fuck is happening. Yeah. Um, and even Ambrose like doesn't know how to answer it because he's fucking pissed at Sabrina yeah. now. He's like, he and like, he's like cock blocked me. Cock block, yeah. <laughs> uh, so then it cuts to the service bookstore. And of course, Susie, just like no matter where she goes, she's just getting picked on. I didn't the understand center. the premise of this scene. So like, like Susie's main mission in the bookstore was to steal a book. But why? Yeah. But why is she trying to steal? So I looked up the book and it's a book called orlando by virginia wolf okay and the story and the premise of it is a man who transitions into a woman okay. so so i guess she can't buy it because then everyone's gonna know that she's reading the book right is which why? is why she was like stealing okay, okay. It, that which, makes sense. i okay. guess that makes sense but uh so anyway she gets there she's trying to steal the book and then um the guys like yeah, the same guys the that, like, like beat her up in the first yeah. couple episodes are now again like being like hey lesbian what are you They're doing like what's under your shirt obviously not boobs 
Like, <laughs> yeah. oh my god. Uh, I should be laughing at that, but that was funny. Um, so then, what, what hurts my heart is that like she doesn't say anything back. Like, I mean, she did try a few times. I don't know. Like, she literally physically tried to fight. Yeah, them that's they, like, true. She did. <laughs> okay, her but face like, in. like fight with words. You know what I mean? Like, you're yeah. not gonna beat them physically because they're like ten t- inches yeah. taller than you. Yeah. But yeah, like she doesn't. She kind of stays quiet. She doesn't know what and to I mean, say. Maybe Plus, she's she, like stealing. Well, she's like, you guys are yeah, screwing my true. mission right yeah. now. Yeah, and I, maybe when she transitions, maybe then we'll see a more stronger character of right. her, like where she's like she fights back. You she know? does seem like she has like fight in her, no, for physical sure. fight in her. For sure. Like even I think it was like the Halloween episode. She's like, I'm ready to fight again. I'm like, holy, relax, girl. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see like her journey. But I really think that that's. I mean, I think we speculated last episode, but I guess that's what they're giving her this character, yeah, yeah. which is going to be interesting. That'll I think to see yeah. how it all kind of wraps together. Plus, she has like a ghost ant ant who follows her around. I don't know, like helping her with the transition. So uh, then Hilda interrupts because she sees that she like sees they're being it, bullied, yeah. and then she's like, oh. Uh, she like comes for every single one so it seems like she like has some sort of like mental like telepathy Mm -hmm. like what's her name she knows like billy's like Like his whole life yeah he's like she basically says like i know that you were like something happened to you at camp and like you tried to tell your dad but he didn't believe you and your mom like watch your mouth out like i know how much it hurts and he's just like he's like like that was sassy yeah and then she even said like she goes your friend over here is like in love with you (laughs) yeah he's like he's gay for you like yeah it was like mic drop they were like oh they're like fuck gotta go so then they run away i'm just trying to steal this book (laughs) (laughs) she's like can i leave now so she does try to like get it out of her and she like runs away so she's yeah. like ah. she like runs away she, she drops couldn't even talk to hilda yeah hilda's like i literally helped she's you like, are you okay like do you need my help she's like ah. and then she just like runs out did she end up taking the book or no no she drops she it dropped and that's it. how she finds the book she realizes oh, it's like right, orlando right. by virginia and then what does hilda say she's like damn that girl was a party year back in, t- in time yeah she's like oh. something about like, like the author yeah. yeah um and then she gets a phone call from yeah. Ambrose at that moment. And she was like, oh, hey, what's going on? And Ambrose is like, you better come fucking like through. Like, something's going to happen. Emergency. So then she ends up at the School of Unseen Arts. And she sees that Agatha is, like, puking. She's, like, literally yeah. puking out soil. She's dying. And Hilda's like, oh, yeah, you guys use, like, the the Kane's, Kane's pit or whatever? Um, yeah, it's fine. She, she's, like, totally trying to play it off. She's like, oh, she's just, like, she came back for the very first time. And sometimes it's, like, it, if you, like, come you back need your body fast, to, like, adjust to it. You'll get sick, apparently. There's, like, rules for this. Thing. Yeah. So then she says, like, just give her, like, some fizzy water to keep her hydrated yeah. and, like, some cayenne pepper. Yeah. So some there's some, like, yeah. <laughs> she goes, there's some, like, fucking goop, like, fucking recipe. And then um, as they're leaving... Ambrose is like, yo, like, obviously that's not, not the situation. And she's like, obviously not. Something's happening yeah. to Agatha. She's literally dying. She's what puking the fuck like happened? gravel. So yeah. it's like dead inside of her. Yeah. And she's like, she soil. shouldn't have brought her back. Like, what what happened? What's the whole real story? And then Ambrose, like, has to Tells tell her, everything, tell her yeah. the whole thing. And then it cuts to Tommy and Harvey at, like, the Kinkle house. And they're playing catch, but, like, they're like he's like a fucking he's robot. just catching it like yeah like, even harvey's like yeah. he's a robot like he's not even smiling <laughs> he's <laughs> when like, he catches the ball he's like watch what happens when i throw this ball at him he like catches it like, like, like a robot and uh i didn't understand what that meant like his reflexes he's like he only reacts to things apparently. yeah like that's what his situation yeah. is um so then uh sabrina's like let, let, why don't we go inside and like feed him like yeah. maybe like maybe he, he's, he's hungry. hungry and so then he leaves and she's like maybe make him some soup because it's like a liquid or i guess whatever and harvey's like true like i didn't think of making soup for him so then he goes into the kitchen and while he's in the kitchen roz decides to or she says like roz like touch him now like see if you like see anything so she sees tommy and so this is all through roz's eyes she sees tommy and he's like lost mm-hmm now he's just like looking around his body's not like being eaten, but he's like looking around and um and then as soon as i think as soon as she catches sabrina saying something she's like rose do you see anything and then she turns to her left like behind her behind yeah. her and it's like an old hag version of sabrina with like a noose around her neck Mm-hmm. And so in my mind, that was like a symbolism that she was like one of the witches, like one of the 13 witches or whatever. Mm-hmm. So she's like, did you see anything, Roz? And Roz is like, what the fuck is happening? I thought it was her mom at first. No. Because it, 
I don't like think later so. when we see the mom, it looked like her almost, but I had to I have to rewind and look yeah. again. I don't think it was her. I think we yeah, I don't think we Was I don't it think Kiernan it was in the in that role? I don't think it was Kiernan, but it looked like as short as Kiernan like still had uh, her haircut. Okay. So I assume that it was like an Because the mom had that haircut witchy too. Version and she was her. wearing like that like grandma gown. <laughs> grandma I have to look gown. at it again. Yeah, anyway, let us know what you guys thought about that part because like I either way, like it's obviously at that moment Roz books that you know, like something is wrong with Sabrina as well, right? That's the whole situation. Yeah, I think what happens is that like she, when she does come back, she doesn't tell Sabrina everything she saw. Obviously, yeah. right? So she obviously, like, what suspicious. else did you see? What else did you see? Was there anyone else there? Was it alone? Was Tommy alone? She goes, yeah, he was alone. Yeah, like, because I think it. she's suspicious of like what what Why Sabrina's is representing because yeah. she literally spoke the words that Sabrina was asking and she's like, what do you say? And, yeah, like, it I mean, was like yeah, the old lady's sketchy. face. So, but they kind of like assume that tommy's stuck in this middle middle world yeah just this place yeah. so then mr kinkle comes home and he has to, they, they like run away basically because he's crazy and um she ross says like she was like i don't know what it was but she was like they were like crying babies yeah. and he was kind of lost in the mist and so there was that part and then it cuts to Susie's room again and she's like talking to her aunt yeah. again and she's like I was at the bookstore and like somebody made fun of me <laughs> and, she's and the aunt's like what happened she's like, her Where's... voice was so like yeah, it like... was like very robotic too a little bit yeah. like there was like almost like a thing on it um, and she was like what happened she's like what happened where's the book I wanted to read it <laughs> Get me the audio version. <laughs> Get me the audio book ASAP. Find me a yeah, torrent. And then, was, <laughs> and then she was like, she was like, but Hilda Spellman like saved me. No, I'm talking like, like, talking like the ghost. Uh, yeah. And so he's like, yeah, like Hilda Spellman like saved me, whatever. And she's like, she knew everything about this kid that was picking on yeah. me. And then the aunt's like, she's the like, Spellmans. Are they still witches? Like, of course they're yeah. still witches. Like, when do you stop being a witch? And then Susie's like, witches? So then, because I guess, like, Susie does book the fact that, like, yeah, how did Hilda... Of course, yeah, how yeah, How does yeah. Hilda just randomly know, like, all these secrets? Of course. Like, why would she even spill that tea to Susie? I know. Like, who turns around and is like, oh, by the way, your classmate is, like, he was, like, abused as a child and this one is gay. Like, who does that? Nobody does that. Yeah. Unless you're a witch, I guess. Yeah. Uh, or you're a detective. So then it cuts to Sabrina's room. And no, she's, and I think she goes to Ambrose's room and she's like, Yo, I found it in this book. Her back's turned to the door. Yeah. So yeah. she's like, Lit. She's like, I know where he is. Yeah. Like he's in limbo or whatever. She's like, Yeah. He's like in the mid middle of like this world of souls. Yeah. And then as she turns around, it's like it's Hilda, Hilda who's in the room. She's like, Oh dear, you are in shit. <laughs> <laughs> she gets so pissed at her. But she doesn't get pissed. Like I love the way disappointed. she's disappointed. Yeah, in which her. is even worse, like, guys. <laughs> like damn, girl, <laughs> that hurts. Like right in your she's heart. She's like, well, you lied to me. Like you did the one thing I legit told you not to do. Yeah, and you fucked it up. Like on top of that, you like you didn't even do it the right way. Yeah. So like even worse. So now everybody's fucked up. And Sabrina, basically her whole epi like thing this episode was like trying to be like Tim the Toolman Taylor. She's like, I can fix it. I can fix yeah. this. I can fix yeah. this. I'm like, oh my god, and no, she's, you can't. And she's so confident in what she's doing. She's like, I know he's stuck in limbo. I gotta do this, this, this yeah. to get there. That's all I need. Like once I get his soul back, he'll be back to normal. And like, Harvey's gonna be happy, and then we're gonna be in love, and then and then, and then everything's gonna be back to yeah. normal. And. Hilda's like, oh no. She's like, no. First of all, you're still in trouble. Second of all, what you're saying is fucking crazy. Yeah. It's like you have to transfer into like the mortal world's limbo. And she's like, no witch can do that. So it's like, yeah. sorry, boo boo. She's like, like you do can't you know do who I am? I'm half mortal and half witch, so <laughs> I can go there. <laughs> like again, she's like bending all the rules to yeah. like to do whatever the fuck she wants to do. She pissed me off so much this episode. She's like, I'm half half. I can do anything I yeah. want. I'm like, no, you can't. You're 16 years old. You just learned that you're a witch and how to do which shit and, like two and, episodes ago and hilda makes a good point she goes it doesn't matter what the fuck you do she goes at the end of the day he's gonna want a body like the devil's like gonna death. want a body because something happened and yeah. there's no balance anymore because that's the thing even ambrose says he's like this is not power this is power past like satan it's death yeah death himself so like like there's no there's no like good or evil yeah. it's like they just need a body yeah so um Ambrose like comes right then up, he comes, comes up, upstairs yeah. and he's like listen we need to talk about something really quickly and he's like there's something wrong with like the miners bodies so then it cuts down to the school of unseen arts and choir it's like choir practice and everyone's like singing and everyone's like lit and uh father blackwood's there he's like yas 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 he's like practicing i think or whatever and then agatha's like <laughs> yeah 
she like she's walks like doing in. the crib walk like down the aisle <laughs> she's like oh, help me and then, and then she, then she like, like flops like, on the floor dies, basically. and then blackwood's like what the fuck is going on <laughs> you better like, if i can spill your beans night? right now and then prudence basically like blames sabrina she's like it was sabrina that freaking like half witch she freaking like fucked everything she slit up. her throat she killed her and then she tried to bring the like the kinko boy back and like even nick couldn't sub- like protect her he's like yep she fucking yeah put her he in the even said like we're in the ground he she did it yeah and then zelda's like uh-oh <laughs> zelda was like oh, 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 hi priest oh, i'm so oh, i'm so sorry I, uh, like she was like glitching out but like he was fucking pissed at he her was, too i mean for good for reason. Good reason. Like the girl's like dead on the floor, and he's like, "What the fuck's going on?" She's like, "Already," and she has no idea. Yeah. Like that's your household. Like you should definitely know what's going on. And that's the problem that I have with this whole situation is clearly Blackwood couldn't protect her. He just wanted to self selfishly, like secretly, f her. And Ooh, then like when Sabrina? when Zelda actually like came by and said like, "My family is falling apart. I have issues." Oh yeah, he his didn't give a solution shit. was like, "Don't worry, I'll just have sex with you." Yeah, You're yeah, it wasn't for real. So anyway, he, like the fact that he turns around and gets even pissed at her and. She she's like at a loss it's like it's unfair to see zelda in this like weak position but yeah it's kind of her fault too so so she says she's like please 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 let me handle this it's my family like i'll figure it out yeah. i'll like just put everything back because blackwood like, was like let me have i'm it. gonna fucking yeah like that's shit. it I'm like, done. you guys are done yeah. and so she's like no give me a moment i'll go talk to her like we'll figure this out so then it cuts back to the Spellman house and Ambrose like sees the bodies and he's like, these are teeth marks. There's like teeth marks on the bodies and um, like human teeth, human teeth. And then they realize like the, the seriousness of the situation. Like that Tommy Tommy's basically like ate. going around eating yeah. people. He's like, no wonder Tommy's not even hungry. Like he ate like six people. He's, like, he's not hungry yet because yeah. he's a fucking zombie. And then and Sabrina's like, oh shit. Like Harvey's going to die yeah. now. And I'm like, duh. Like, duh, 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 duh. So then it cuts to the Kinko house, and then, like, shit escalates real quick. The dad is, like, drunk as fuck, and he starts yelling at Tommy. He's like, you're not my son! Who are you? Yeah. And Harvey's like, stop it. You're so mean to him. Like, he's just yeah. a zombie baby. Like, what's well, fine? And the dad's like, that's just getting angry. Yeah. He's getting up in his face. He gets up in Harvey's face. Yeah. Which then incites, like, zombie Tommy to, like, get up and get angry at the dad. Yeah. So then Tommy starts choking the dad. Yeah. And then... And then Harvey's like, chill, chill. And then it cuts to, like, Sabrina coming, like, getting to the house. And okay. then we already see, like, the dad running out. So, like, at some point, I guess Harvey, like, broke them apart, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then... I thought for sure he was going to kill him. Yeah, For sure. And so then she's like, okay, I'm going to calm you down. Why don't you give him this, like, yeah, little he's li- thirsty. liquid? He looks thirsty. Give him this. So then he, I guess he, like, puts him to sleep or whatever. And then Harvey's, like, freaking out. And he's, like, oh, my God. Honestly, the only time that he ever fe- seems normal is when he's actually asleep. So sad. And I'm, like, oh, my God. Yeah. This is a very depressing storyline. So then Harvey's, like, but, like, how did he even escape? Yeah. Like, now he's starting to kind of put things like, together. Being, like, this kid's smart. Like, like, not really, but he's smart enough, I if guess. that was Archie, like, he wouldn't even come he to He wouldn't have got there. So then he's like, yeah, like, I don't understand. His he- his helmet was crushed. Like, like, how like was, covered in blood. How is like, he totally there's normal? There's no way. He even came out with a single broken bone. That, yeah. that would be the first that was question the fir- that, that was the first have. thing, for sure. I'm like, come on, Like, bro. no sprained ankle, nothing. Yeah. Like, completely perfect. Per- completely perfect. So then uh, she says in this moment, she's like, Honestly, I know that you love him and stuff, but if he wakes up and he tries to hurt you or something happens, like just run, 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 bitch, just get the fuck out of there. I was like, you're going to leave your like you're going to leave him there to like fucking what? What was she going to do? Like sleep with him in the bed? Like wait? I don't know. I mean, I guess she gave put he she gave him the like house. the spell, like yeah. the, the potion. Yeah. Um so like he'll be fine. So then Sabrina just comes home she's like, "Yes, everything's great." She opens up the door and she's like, Hey aunties, so like we like, need to I'm talk. Home. We're home, and Zelda just like loses her fucking mind yeah. on her. She's like, I don't even give a shit about what you're about to say and what you need from us. You're in so much fucking trouble. She's like, literally, the last like piece of confidence that Blackwood had in me like just was it's shattered gone. today because you fucked everything up. She like loses her fucking Which mind, which is fine. I was totally like, yeah, I like, was ready. Girl, for this. go for it. Yeah, yeah. She like goes right in. She was like, I can't believe you did necromancy. How the hell did you even get this spell? And uh, even Ambrose says, like, I don't, I didn't give her some fucking spell. Like, I don't know where she got it from. And uh, does she say Wardwell? She says it. She, they, she. I was surprised at the fact that she said it. She was like, um, I got it from Wardwell, but I stole it. 
Right. They're like, she gave it to you? She's like, no, 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 I sold the book. She's like, okay, that doesn't yeah. make it better. <laughs> it doesn't make it better, but also, like, is no one going to so, book the fact that, like, World yes, World does, has a book of necromancy? That's my question, is the fact that, like, these two ants, and even Ambrose, like, they don't even, they don't even, like, clue in to say, why is this teacher giving her this like, why shit? Why is she or, like, so extra? Why is she so extra? Why is she getting these resources from her teacher? Yeah. Like, they don't even think about it Like, at why all. aren't they talking to her, being like, yo, we need like, to talk. Like, do you know what happened? About yeah. What you're doing with Sabrina right now. You're supposed to be her guiding light, and, like, know. you're fucking her up. So, yeah, and it just never comes up in this episode. And I'm like, okay, like, I hope that that kind of gets tied up because it's a huge miss on their part if they're not realizing there's, that yeah, there's an issue Yeah, it is a there. huge miss. So one of the things that, like, I did sort of, like, side with Serena was the fact that she, because they were like, why did you do this? Like, right. she's like, I did it to save Harvey, like, obviously make him happier. And she goes, the way th they killed him was, like, with witchcraft. Like, they, like, did it on right. purpose. Yeah. So she's like, I can only fight back with more witchcraft. Like, and I totally agree with her. I was like, it's right. true. Like, it was wasn't a natural disaster that killed tommy yeah they literally did it to him with that the is voodoo doll. that is the one thing that i will give yeah, her like she true. is she is pretty right like in that if moment. it was a natural mind disaster you'd be like yeah girl like you're crazy like you don't do this but like they the witches did it to themselves like yeah. the weird sisters yeah it's true so she's like i need to like fight back yeah but this wasn't probably yeah the right it wasn't it. but i understand why she was like why she did it yeah she could have turned back which and that's the thing like i think in the beginning of the season she did turn to her her aunts to be like yo there's an injustice here like why can't we like figure this out but instead this time around she doesn't tell the aunts because she knows it's wrong and instead she decides to do it anyway yeah you're right and or she could have said to like zelda she could have said like they fucked it up or even father blackwood yeah like anyone but especially zelda to be to like look what they did to him like yeah. how much to react to this because because even prudence does say she's like if anybody ever else anyone else found out about what you guys did you would be dead yeah like last episode yeah, yeah. so like she did kind of save the girls too in that particular regard too so anyway um and then zelda's like it's done sabrina like get the fuck over it she goes we're gonna get rid of him he needs to be back in the ground yeah there needs to be balance restored so like it's happening like get over yourself yeah and sabrina's like no i'm gonna go into limbo and then zelda loses it for the second yeah. time she's like are she you have a plan, fucking okay? serious she's like you can't do that you're literally embarrassing our family like i can't believe you're actually thinking that you want to go into limbo yeah by yourself like a, a six next year old mission girl. Like, a next are you mission. she like there's like she goes so she gets so angry and then uh, there's like a big fucking moment where yeah. Sabrina yells back. She claps the yeah. fuck back. And she's like, you're not my mom. So don't ever talk to me like Stop that. Stop acting like you are. I was like, fuck. And then I was like, oh, shit. Like, argument is over. That is literally the worst thing that And then anybody... Zelda's like, you know what? Fuck this bitch. She goes, you want to do that spell? Go yeah. do it on your own. Yeah. She goes, you really sad do whatever the F you want to do. And if you come back crying to me, I'm not going to give a shit. Yeah. And I was like, that's that's the only reaction I probably anticipated at that point, too. Because she's like, I'm done trying to, like, save you. I can't support you. So there's really nothing else yeah. for me to do at this point. You're probably going to go do whatever you want to do because you're an adult. Yeah. So go do it. Real talk. She's 16 years old. Throw that bitch in her room and, like, let her stay Real there Real talk, forever. yes. But at the same time, she's acting like she's a fucking adult over here. So, like, go be an adult then. Go figure your shit out. I don't know, man. So then, she's like, she young. dips. She's too young to be. And then Hilda's like, yeah, decisions. like, I'm go gone too. Like, you're not getting my help. And yeah. then Ambrose is like, yeah, like, we're not helping you with anything. Like, ain't nobody going to help yeah. you. Yeah. And, and she's Sabrina, like, well, I have someone else. So, yeah, Serena does get bummed out because she's like, no one's going to help me. He's like, who's even going to help you? And she's like, I have some one person, like, one person left. And uh, whatever, she leaves. And then she ends up back at Wardwell's home. And now she has to, like, catch Wardwell up, like, fake catch her up because Wardwell obviously already knows the situation. And Sabrina says, she's like, I'm not sorry for what I did. Like, they fucked it yeah. up. And, like, I really yeah. want And I'm going to gonna save my man. Like, that's my mission. Yeah. And Wardwell's like, don't worry. Like, this is something that we do for everyone that we love. It's totally fine. But she's like, but the limbo is, like, so weird and crazy. And it's, like, you have to, like, do this crazy-ass spell. And don't worry. I'll figure it out for you. And I'm, like, how does she not even clue in that Wardwell could be any I know, semblance a part of this situation? I don't know. This is the one part that I'm, like, you got the fucking so book desperate. of necromancy from her. Yeah. And now she's the one that's yeah. helping you with the limbo situation. Like I think because she's so desperate in this yeah. moment. She has literally no one else. She's like not even really thinking. And and one of the points that Wardwell does make, she goes like, you need to be really careful. Like there's a soul eater in limbo. Yeah. 
and who will like eat you who will eat your soul now and like you'll be gone too yeah so like also like watch out for that <laughs> yeah but sabrina is like she has so much faith in harvey which is kind of crazy too and i'm like this is about to blow up in your face too bitch like because she says she's like honestly i'm gonna do it because i, I know think that harvey would do that for me how I'm he's like, not even a witch he's not even strong yeah he can't do shit he can, can't even like, take all he'll do is like take it to like br- the pops like burger like that's it like <laughs> he'll like he can't throw foot by you and like hope for the yeah. best <laughs> um so whatever where it was like okay i know where it is we're gonna go like, like deep go into right the now. forest like let's do it right now um and then it cuts to the spellman house and zelda's like she's going like Yo, all off she's like hell? whipping herself with like How the are nine you when tails you saw this scene? i felt so i wanted to cry for her i felt really really it bad it was really intense it was really intense like so she was literally in her room whipping herself. whipping herself but it was a really emotional moment between her and hilda yeah. where like she's whipping herself and she's so upset with herself and hilda's like stop it don't do that and she was like and zelda says she's like why did we even take her in we should have like, just given her to diana yeah. like this was such a bad idea this kid is like fucking crazy now i don't know what to do like we're bad parents or we're bad t- we're, we're it was my she was it was my arrogance to think i could raise her but she looked so much like edward remember oh uh, god it guy, so like sad. it really it was a very one of the yeah, most emotional yeah. parts of the probably the entire season so far just seeing how much it was weird that you saw zelda break down yeah. too like because i was thinking hilda's gonna sketch out you know what it is because i think she's hilda the already, yeah because i think hilda already is emotional and she does feel that whereas zelda holds a lot back and she clearly internalizes it to the point where she would rather whip herself and punish herself yeah. for bad for raising her wrong than actually punish and Sabrina. i think like i think it also shows another dynamic to their family where like like hilda and zelda must have loved their brother so yeah. much that like they would look at her and be like she, she looks like our brother like we like, love we her so much so like definitely the three of them as siblings like had a close relationship too you know yeah and she says like i couldn't i could have never said no to sabrina mm. like ever since she was yeah, like this growing up and yeah. it was so cute she was like i could never say no to sabrina and then hilda's like you always say no to sabrina <laughs> <laughs> like she would have never listened like, to you anyway. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it was a very emotional moment between the sisters and seeing how they are coping with the fact that, you know, Sabrina is finally kind of falling apart and they don't know what to do. They feel powerless. And it, yeah, it was just really emotional. It's like whatever any, I guess, foster parent would probably feel, you know, that yeah. responsibility and like the failure that you feel when, when you can't take care of them. So then it cuts to um, Blackwood and he's telling Prudence to go kill Tommy. He's like, listen. Don't leave it up to them. Yeah. Go do to it. it. Like, handle the job yourself. Yeah. Because they're like, we like, need to figure Tommy. this out. And and Prudence is like, honestly, I'm lit. Like, let's fucking do this. And uh, that's it. So then it yeah. cuts to, so then it cuts to the them, weird like, sisters going, going to there. Tommy's house. Yeah. Well, the weird sisters minus Agatha. And so they're walking toward it. And already, like even like the the footprints were so like deep into the fucking soil i was oh, like of I course something's oh, gonna shit. happen I'm like why this. are they like it's like they're 700 pounds like why are they walking so heavy into this into the soil so what was it the soil was like sunk no, in it's just they wanted to i guess uh, accentuate like, like accentuate the scene. fact that they're gonna mm. walk so as they're walking dorcas is like yes i'm gonna like kill him maybe we should like skin him alive or yeah. something crazy and prudence is like shut the fuck up like let's just so like, just like I'll just like kill this guy really quickly and then like you all you hear is like clinking in the back and nick in the like back like a bear trap right? yeah and nick is like he put pins i think in their footprints and i guess it, it attaches them, into them place, to yeah. the floor so now they can't move but like literally they were screaming as if yeah. he didn't nail them to the to it the sounded like that though it sounded like a clamp like, like on their feet yeah, yeah. It was like, oh god yeah. like he's so mean and he's like you're not gonna fuck this up he's like let the spellman's like handle Deal this. With this yeah so my next question to you is like why why why? was he working for wardwell and like ooh, because you're putting it together that's a good yeah pop. right so like because based on like last wardwell episode knows that sabrina has to solve this not right. prudence well and she Ad- needs to like i guess Dorcas. go to limbo or yeah, yeah, yeah yeah right but if they go and kill him right it won't work it's interesting yeah because i was like why wow. the hell is nick there yeah because yeah. he like did like this next level level thing yeah. for her yeah because first i was like why does he even care that yeah. sabrina is going to be the one to deal with this yeah mm-hmm. and then based on what you said last episode with like him like, looking at more well, looking for sure that would be really interesting yeah. like, if he's working for her so anyway he's like you guys have to stay here until she goes in and like does yeah. it so then it cuts to the portal and then wardwell like this part was kind of cool so it was it looked she really cool. she like opens up this next portal and then she goes into it with this ball of string and she's like tug on it three times when you find him and like then i'll pull, pull you, you back out. in 
So then she goes inside and it's like all like misty and she can't see shit. There's like these creepy like bodies walking around. Like they don't have any faces. Like blacked out. Yeah. Like they're not like real people. They're screaming like noises. Yeah. Like, there's it's like, like babies like crying. Place. It's like so many things. And so then she's like yelling for Tommy. She's like, hurry up. Let's get the fuck out of here. And she bumps into her mom. Yeah. She's like, hey she's like, girl. Mommy? <laughs> she's like, who are you? Because she the, the woman is calling for Sabrina. She's like, Sabrina, Sabrina. And then she was like, I'm Sabrina. And she's like, no, my baby is Sabrina. And like who are you so then they have like a quick conversation i'm like wait a minute does that mean that the mom is in limbo like actually or is it a figment of her imagination so i think she might be and why why is she in limbo i don't know why would she be in limbo like there's well, what's the other reason why you would be in limbo if you didn't like rest in peace you know what i mean well maybe she was she didn't rest in peace so then, maybe she was murdered so someone needs to fucking like yeah figure that situation and i think out. what she says to sabrina is like why are you here you shouldn't be here yeah she goes you were baptized like i got you baptized yeah but then so, she like loses her mind she's like but then they said they the baby you. died like yeah so i guess like she never even saw like she never she could never even take care of sabrina like yeah she literally like, some like, shit went down i'm just gonna say that yeah so, like, like some I, shit went down like some oh and that's probably why like she's in that limbo oh okay so she maybe she got like murdered or something yeah so anyway um they be lying so then she's like yo you need to get out of here the soul eater is gonna come like save yourself the mom starts like running because then you start hearing like this like, mo thanks mom jeez like, she, she's like hide i've been hiding for this past 16 years so she runs away and then um she's still looking for tommy finally tommy comes she's, out of like, yeah, the woodwork, she sees him. and then he's like yo sabrina what you doing here and he's she's like i'm a witch she doesn't say that but she like starts running she's like let's go but then she's like tugging at the rope of course and like the, cuts yeah. in half and i'm like does, does that mean that Wardwell? I didn't know what that happened. Like, I don't know if Wardwell cut it or like it just got loose. Because I guess like Wardwell doesn't want her to come out. Like, I don't. That's I, the thing. But they didn't really. They didn't. Really, once she did get out, like it. Like Wardwell didn't really yeah. do anything. A part of me was like, oh, she's just gonna close she's, the portal. Yeah, on yeah, her that's and, like, what I thought away. too. But then when she got out, she was like, good, you made it. Because I, like, I really did think that this was gonna be like the apex of the situation. I'm like, oh, Wardwell literally wants her to like get fucked up, like go into a portal yeah. and stay there. But because, then I'm like, like, but then why would she do all the other other things? Because my get herself yeah, because you know? my assumption is like the soul goes straight to like Satan, like that soul. But I guess Maybe. it doesn't. I, I don't, don't know. know. I'm so. So confused. anyway, so she makes it out with Tommy. Like they're just about to like get out of the portal. Yeah. And like he disintegrates. Which I didn't understand. Like literally the the right at the end and all you hear is like crom crom crom. And she's crom. like, the soul eater got him. I'm like, but I was like, he, um, but no. I don't know. I, he looked he crossed the line he, he there. <laughs> so I don't believe you. I'm like, you probably just vanquished him like right as soon as he like got out yeah. of there. I just didn't understand how that like how that connected. But yeah, I guess we have to assume that he died. I thought that his body was going to the soul. Like his soul Me was too. going to the I was body. like, oh, he's going to be like, sent over. <laughs> like, like, she's like, no, incoming no. mail. And then it was like, no. <laughs> he's dead. He was like, he's gone. gone. I was like, damn. Like you didn't even check on the body. You just yeah. literally were just like, oh, he's dead. Well, he like disintegrated. Yeah, right? he like turns into nothing so then sabrina's like oh fuck she's like oh she's fuck like, i so failed yeah. episode nine episode got one more nine. episode wants to do for one more episode yeah and then like she i guess she runs back to the house like i don't well, know well wardwell tells her she goes you know what sabrina i think it's time like it's time that you told harvey now right because she's and like she's this like, is your I only think, way out now yeah like, like you <laughs> she's like, like we've done all the spells yeah like just be honest with him and if he really loves you he will accept you for what what yeah. everything happened and like just tell the truth and then she's like, true, true, true. I'm gonna go do that right now. So she, so she dips, and then like I don't know. Warble just like chills me for like a hot like, second. She's there and she talks to her familiar. Yeah, and she's like, "Yo, we got lit. Like we did, with, uh, the plan worked." <laughs> we fucking did and I'm like, "Which plan? I feel but like there's like was four plan? different plans." Yeah, and she's like, "Now." Her, her like rea like her connection to the mortal world is severed because Harvey's right. not gonna like forgive, forgive her for this. Her for this. So oh, I was okay. like, wait, like you did all of this for just for Harvey just to not so forgive her? <laughs> yeah, like, he, she could have just told him the truth from the beginning. Which later, like, why didn't he, why didn't you just kill Harvey? Maybe that would or that <laughs> like, exactly. Literally, like you had to like go through this full rigmarole of her like betraying him and like lying to him and which then, i guess makes more sense than comics now I, i'm looking at it like that oh uh, okay anyway but I yeah it's true that. though i'm just like what is your plan there's yeah. like four different plans right now She's and like, i don't my know plan what you're is talking about. i'm like what plan girl what yeah. the fuck are you talking about so then it cuts to the cafe and it's Roz and susie and they're talking and Roz is like listen do you remember when we were talking to my grandma and she said that i had the cunning <laughs> 
seed <laughs> killed me. Yeah. So yeah, Ross is like, yo, remember my grandma? Like she's like this sick lady. Yeah. And then Susie's like, yeah, she called me a handsome boy, right? <laughs> and then Ross is like, no, like listen to what I gotta say. Like, she's like, like that's not the one part boy. that you're taking away from this conversation. <laughs> God damn it. So she's like oh so like there were witches she said there were witches yeah. involved and they gave us the cunning like they're the reason why we ha- we're blind and we have the right cunning. And she's like do you think that's even true or whatever and Susie's like oh do you mean like ghosts like, like you like, see ghosts like let's say for example <laughs> <laughs> let's like, say for I, example you're like, having like issues with your like <laughs> <laughs> like your identity and like, and like your aunt who probably had the same issues <laughs> as you came back from the 1840s <laughs> and like you see her ghost in your room like that like you see ghosts <laughs> Exactly. And Ross is like, um, no, it's more like visions. Like, <laughs> like I see visions, I see yeah. secrets. And then so he's like, you see secrets? Like, you see my secret life? Like, you know my secrets? And then Ross is like, no, it's not about you right now. It's not Shut about up. You. I'm dead. And she's like, no, I think Sabrina's like, it's away. about Sabrina. <laughs> like, poor Ross. Like, she's trying to get to she's her trying to get to it. She's like, I'm going through something, right? Can you please talk to me about it? She's uh, like, nope. We're gonna talk about Sabrina. Yeah. So then, and she's, she's like, like, she's hiding something from us. Like, yeah. I just know it. Yeah. And then Susie says, she's like, I think I found that out too from my ghost. And <laughs> like, she's like, 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 now it comes full circle. <laughs> yeah. She's like, she wrote about them in her journal. Yeah. She doesn't say like, I see a ghost. She goes, I yeah. saw it in the in the like journal. Some next yeah, journal. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, does that mean that she's a witch? And like, what does that even mean? Is she like a dangerous witch? Is she evil? Is she trying to make us all blind? Um, and while that's all happening, Wardwell somehow like is in the fucking cafe too. <laughs> she's like, she's like, like mm, she's like sipping on a, like a, a milkshake. But I'm just like, but <laughs> is this your plan too? Yeah, I, 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 I don't understand. But that's what I mean. And like, it goes back to what we were saying about Susie. Like, is that Wardwell's doing? Like yeah. her, like whispering in her yeah. ear. The whole thing with Roz, I don't think that's her at all. If anything, like, that one Susie knowing Susie knowing what the cunning is not gonna fuck over sabrina that's what i mean i think those both those storylines if anything make it stronger make this whole yeah. thing stronger so like unless warwell thought that, they, like, that it would fuck her up right. like maybe warwell thought like oh her friends are gonna ditch her now that they know that she's a witch right right but then that doesn't really get resolved either yeah. anyways uh, yeah. yeah anyway so then it cuts to the kinko house and harvey's like my dad's out again because he's like drinking he's like an alcoholic yeah. and sabrina uh and sabrina sabrina's there and tommy's still sleeping yeah so this is the one part that I was like, what the fuck is happening? Uh, they don't, they never show. Like, Sabrina just walks in. I'm like, weren't the fucking weird sisters just out the front door? Like, just, like, nailed okay, to the floor? so I'm going to talk to you guys right after. Yes, you're right. I mean, they she sees them on after. their way out. But, like, you're there's right. no conversation that right. is even had. And, like, usually they're, like, so on point with, like, every single It's funny single because when I, was writing, when I was writing this note and I was going to, I wrote that. And yeah. then I was like, oh, wait, she sees them at the end. Yeah. But, yeah, unless maybe she comes from, like, the back of the house. <laughs> I don't sure. know. Yeah, you're because you're right. Because I wondered the same thing. I was yeah. like, weren't they right there, like screaming, like, like what literally, are you <laughs> like, get yeah. me off of these things. Yeah. And even like Nick didn't even say like, go get him, girl. Like he, yeah. Like was he just waiting there too? Unless, like, yeah, like, like and she, she came from the side door. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. So then she's like, I need to tell you something. Sabrina's like, I need to tell you like some tea. And she's like, so you know that Tommy's sleeping because I done gave him a potion. Yeah, a sleep potion. And Harvey's like. But sure. He's like, okay. And she's like, so I kind of resurrect him from the dead because I'm a witch. She's like, bitch, what? Yeah. <laughs> like first, I think first salt. she says like, I brought him back. Yeah. I performed a ritual. I brought him back. Harvey's like, no, no. But like, what do you? He's mean? literally like, like bitch, what the, what, the entire about? time. And then she's like, so I'm like a witch. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, so then he has yeah, a memory. His he's reaction like, is oh, crazy. I feel like you've told me this before. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, she I goes, did. Yeah, I did. And then you like freaked out. So then I like made you forget. Yeah, about I erased it. your memory basically. <laughs> so then, um, and then she like skirts. Like it was weird. So like, she like Loki like attacks him. Yeah. Too. She's like, I didn't like, tell you why? because you're like a like your yeah, family's a part he's of like, witch why hunters. Why did you do that though? And she's like, you come from a line of witch hunters. And, and I was like, like, are you trying to deflect right now? Yeah, like, she is holy. for sure deflecting. So um, she's like, just letting you know right now, though, like Tommy right now in his body is not really Tommy. Like your your brother's dead. I like Loki tried to get him back and he's fucking dead. Yeah. So sorry about it. But this entire time, like poor Harvey's like trying to take all this information and he's like, uh, 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 like he's like freaking getting yeah. hit with these. And he's like, bombs. if it's not Tommy, then what is it? Yeah. She's like, I don't know, but it ain't Tommy. That's for damn show. And so 
then Harvey's like, what the fuck? I can't believe you're telling me this right now. I'm like, I why did you, you do this? Over. Um, and like, why would you do all of this? Yeah. And she was like, I did it because I love you. And I like, feel like you would want this for, for him. And like, I was trying to like, I was just trying to help essentially is all she says. Yeah. And he's like, but why would you think that this is the way that you could yeah. have helped? And she was, and anyway, she's like, don't worry though. I'm going to fix this. And he's like, honestly, bitch, you've done enough get out of my house now he's like i'll do it he's like i'll take care of it i'm gonna have to fucking because he this is the part that kind of pissed me off too sabrina's like i'm gonna have to end this i'm gonna take care of this and then he's like how are you gonna do it and she's like i don't really know yeah like you're an idiot i'm like you have to go and tell your boyfriend first of all come clean and tell him that you're a witch and you're kill his brother kill his brother kill him for the second time and you don't even know how you're gonna do it like you can't even be like don't worry, I got this pill. He's going to pop it and he's yeah. going to die in his sleep and it's going to be a peaceful death. He's, she's like, I did not think this far ahead. I'm sorry. Like, I get it. You're a teenager. You're going through your own personal emotions. You're afraid that you're going to lose your boyfriend, but also you have to kill his brother. So maybe deal with that first and then deal with the fact that you have to take yeah. care of it. So anyway, he kicks Sabrina out. Yeah, he's, he's like, like I don't, I don't, I don't want need you here. You yeah. here. So he, and then he grabs like one what of his What did you think of this guns? moment? Were you like, Shad? Yeah, let's get to like, right after this okay, so fine. like yeah he grabs the gun yeah cause... and then like he starts walking up the stairs she yeah. leaves and then i think this is where you see the weird sisters yeah right? prudence is like is it done <laughs> and sabrina's like and si- then silence. you hear yeah, and the you gunshot, hear the gunshot. Yeah. and i was like oh my god i got chills yeah i was like yo this is bad for I harvey like, like this sucks. is fucked up for harvey's character believe... and also like why did he have to choose that way to kill him like, like it was like the most way violent way so i guess violent. he was scared to like choke him or whatever in case like he woke up <laughs> yeah but that's like the how thing. else would you kill like him, you, know? you would think that sabrina would be the one to be like no i refuse to leave i'm gonna I'll take just do, like, care a spell of you and kill him like don't yeah, worry like just... she never even gave him the confidence to feel she like was so broken by that point in time that she came forward and she's like i can't do anything but like also like i'm gonna make your life really really bad right now like she didn't help the situation yeah. she made it even worse and which is not really surprising but I, I just was I think really it just shows to his character episode. too. I think that a moment like this for his for his character is massive. Like it's a really dark place that he's gone to at this 100%. point. One hundred percent, he had to so, kill his like yeah, dead brother. Right. Who was so done. like it's pretty. I think they wanted him to go through that on his own. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so then she gets home and she's like crying. Yeah, this poor this, girl. This moment like broke my heart. Yeah, I felt really bad. And, and Zelda like, was over. there. She opened yeah. up the door. She's like, it's over. It's done. Like yeah. I did it. Like. She's like, everything's done. Like, me and Harvey are over. Like, Tommy's dead. And then she just starts bawling. She's like, Balls. And then Zelda just, like, holds and her. And Zelda just holds her. And, like, I was really gagged. I was Baby like, wow. Thing, like, bro. for her, because she just said, like, I'm not going to like deal with your issues. Like, go, like, fuck yeah. off. And then now she's, like, holding her and she's, like, bawling in her arms. So, like, it was yeah. a really cute moment. It's a powerful moment, too, because just based on what happened with her and Hilda just before with her whipping her, it just goes to show at the end of the day, you can be upset, you can be frustrated, you can be angry with every everything that your children do but if you love them you're just going to be there for them no matter what dumb shit they end up doing you know like just it's just sad sad moment she was very supportive and yeah so that's how the episode ends sad times in the spellman household yeah it was like a really weird um like a really well for one it was a really long episode yeah that's um but also yeah i think it was i think this was all kind of ramping up for like what happened last episode so we kind of needed a conclusion and i do like the fact that they keep they do still keep them as pretty self-contained like this is not something that is going to span across the rest of the season like oh what are they going to do with tommy is he weird is he weird is he not weird like they really did pack it in which i'm pretty impressed by and it didn't feel too fast like, it felt like there was a lot happening, but at the same time, like, it all fit together, which is cool. Yeah. Except for, like, maybe Susie's storyline. Because, like, yeah. Loki, like, she was random. So, uh, yeah, let us know what you guys thought about the episode. Um, but we are about to get into our recap roundups. Recap roundups. Best, best moment. moment. My best moment, I think, was the ending with Zelda and Serena. I think... Uh, it just hit hard. I felt like they had this huge blowout in the middle. And then, like, at the end, Sabrina kind of just was like, I'm done. Like, I can't do this anymore. And yeah. she just lost it. And then Zelda was there to, like, hold her. So it was a really cute moment. My best moment was her confronting Harvey about the whole situation and, like, just her breaking it all down, saying, like, I'm a witch. Yeah. Just because I was like, yo, it wasn't, it's not necessarily my best moment, but also, like, 
it's no, a very it if it's a pretty strong moment to happen and for them to both react the way that they're reacting they're both 16 year old kids and he's realizing that his like you know his dead brother is not real and like she's a witch like it's just a lot for them to take in um and i don't think they could have played it any other way it really like i was like sabrina you're an idiot but also this is kind of like i'm kind of glad that it happened just because i don't i don't want harvey to be in the rest of the seasons yeah, of sabrina right. to yeah. be like completely in the dark of like what the fuck she's doing with her life so i'm kind of glad that we're done with like that whole like will i tell my friends or not yeah like yeah. now it's gonna move to like some next evolved version because really i like i really do like this show but i feel like it stagnates from time to time like there's filler episodes that nothing really happens and in the grand scheme of things a lot happened for her this episode including her breaking it down for, sure. for harvey no for sure and break, i mean it's a huge moment yeah, like it's a huge moment major. WTF, wtf moment um my wtf moment is that moment is like her because yeah. i was really shocked that it True. happened i was really happy that it happened that they got through season one with like telling yeah like him yeah. knowing because i was like yeah don't drag this on like let him know exactly um but i was still really shocked the, at the fact that she even said it right. like i wasn't expecting it at all yeah i mean i think i was expecting it but also like it escalated to that point pretty fast with wardwell saying like there's no other yeah option. yeah for sure i'm like oh shit okay um my wtf moment is her like losing um man's in limbo because i really didn't think that he wasn't gonna come back i really thought that she was gonna achieve it so too, yeah. for uh, as she like walked out and she was holding his hand and he disappears i'm like what the fuck is happening yeah. why can't why can't he come back like it's so unfair like why did tommy have to die like it kind of sucked the way that this whole yeah. storyline went but i get it like it all kind of wraps itself up at the end but it's just it's just sucks yeah it sucks that like he kind of just like dies and like that's the way he dies but yeah i was very like kind of shocked because i was like did the soul eater really just kill him or like did, did Ward well do, like, something. do something yeah because i really feel like she had something to do with that mvp is your mvp my mvp is gonna go to Roz. i think she yeah. right now it looks like she has the strongest power like more power than, than even sabrina, sabrina. no it's seriously like she's able to like see things and like she books everything yeah so right now i feel like she's the strongest character and also now she kind of low-key knows or thinks that sabrina might be a witch yeah so what do you think we should expect for the finale which is next episode I yeah. mean, I think they're going to confront her. Yeah. Like they'll say like, girl, like, girl there's girl, something up with you. Like with what's you? going on? Yeah. But you know, I think they're all, I think they're going to remain Sabrina's friends. But they're, they're going to be worried, her crew. They're also worried that like she might be dangerous yeah, too, right? Yeah, so we'll see so, what happens with that. Yeah. Um it'll be interesting the way that all plays out. Um my MVP, yeah, I thought Roz was really cool and I think we said it even last episode the fact that she's getting the cunning. Like I was like, do we want another She's like cunning witchy? all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's like, like really? cunning 100%. Yeah. Um did we want like a new side character that has powers but i'm totally down for Roz yeah. having the power that she has i think she's really cool as a character i don't know how it works out in the comics but it's cool that they like they wrote her this way and yeah. like i'm really excited to see what they do with her character it's like buffy it's like what you were saying like yeah, they all the kind whole of this whole turn squad. into people who yeah. have like abilities that can help out the major storyline um my mvp if it wasn't Roz, would be wardwell just because yes it sounds like she has a plan we're still not sure what her plan was but it's clearly yeah. things are going the right way for her you know she severed ties with harvey so she's obviously feeling like she's got like the one up on on sabrina and to her closer moment to do i don't even know still have no idea what her fucking i don't know is. the end game what is her point like what is she trying to do we'll find out hopefully by the end of the season but um yeah all she wants is to be like yes everything's working according to plan and then that's it so good job girl i guess like she got she literally got sabrina to do everything she was supposed to get her to do so well done lvp who's your lvp my lvp i think is gonna go to Susie. okay yeah. just because like i i'm I'm confident that in, in maybe season two, her story will make sense. Yeah. And she'll be a bit stronger. But right now, I feel like she's she's not there yet. She's not cool yet. You know? And even the bookstore, the scene in the books are like, she was just fumbling and lost yeah. and, like, confused and, like, not as strong as I'd like her to be. Right. So I'm going to say she's my LVP for now. But I'm confident that, like, in time, she'll... Come, come into her own, yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Which is... I think it'll be really interesting to see how they turn how they her do character. That. And even just comparing her to like Serena and Roz, I feel yeah. like hers is the least like powerful. For sure. Like for sure. What, yeah. Currently like she's like not doing anything so yeah. talk, talking to her dead like great grandmother. Yeah. Um my LVP is going to be Sabrina. I just think that she 
didn't play it out right. Her heart was in the right place, but she's going to, dare I say, Archie territory for me, Ooh. where she's really playing like really stupid. She's doing a lot of dumb emotional things. And like normally I reserve those lines for Archie where I'm like stupid Archie. It's like how many dumb sh things can our main character do yeah. and be saved each time? Yes, exactly. And I feel like she really crossed the line just like Ambrose said this episode, the last couple episodes and seeing her being like, I can fix this. I can fix this. I'm like, girl, get out of here. You're really doing stupid shit right now. Go back and like meditate or something. Just chill. And I, I guess it just has to do with the fact that she's going through this whole tragedy and she doesn't know how to ha handle it. But I just feel like she was able to manage herself in the beginning of the season so well with her, her relationship with her aunts. Like what happened? What changed yeah. that she can't go to her aunts for those things? Just I because always, they denied her twice about this one specific yeah, thing, you know? I always try to compare this show to Buffy just because I feel like it's a little similar in the it's sense relatively. that like we're following that one girl, that one yeah. character in this in this new journey of in her life. So like I'm trying to think like like did Buffy do any mistakes? Did she like fuck did up? Fuck did up, she yeah. like make any stupid choices? And like yeah, there were a couple times where like I'm sure she acted on like impulse and she was yeah. dumb, but she was never this dumb. Like she still like every decision that she made I felt like made sense yeah. or like you were impressed by her every like each time even more. Yeah. So I don't like I can't connect to this character who like I'm not really proud of. I agree. At at the end of the ep episodes, right? Yeah. I'm kind of like, girl, what, what are you doing? But why? Like, why? Why did you do this? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I agree with you for sure. She's just like a waste character right now. The, the best, best line. line. My best line, I think, is gonna go to um, Sabrina when they're fighting with Zelda, Ooh. and she goes, "You're not my mother, Zelda, so stop acting like you are." Which and is it major. just like it was just like hurt, like stab right there. Yeah, in stab the in the chest. It was hard. I wonder if that line is gonna just remain where it is, or if it's gonna come up again. This whole I idea think, of like her being fostered by the. I think the I sisters. think it's gonna stay where it is. I think, but I think they all have their like moments, their 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 um their spots where they know it hurts one another. Yeah, their soft spots, you know. That's true. And I think she knew exactly what she was doing when How she said it to Zelda. Yeah, her. yeah, and she, it really did yeah. like make an impact yeah. on her. My best line is from Wardwell, actually, and she says, we've all done unspeakable things to help the ones we love. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's the only forgiving moment that I can really give Sabrina in this episode is she's doing it because she really loves Harvey and she doesn't want him to go through any yeah. pain. And it's kind of shocking that that's what Wardwell kind of touches on to get Sabrina to do these things. So she obviously, she's smart enough to know that this is where to hit her. Like she's hitting her in her heart where like she feels like yeah, it matters like the most. Yeah, the L word. I and I also wonder if it has anything to do with like Wardwell's past too, where like yeah, it's that's almost what I keep wondering. it's like, almost like there was truth to that on yeah. her side. Like she's done shitty things for the people that she's loved, or like the man yeah. that she's loved. So and it's really interesting that you say that because I wonder if um like witches and mortals have a similar mindset when it comes to like falling in love with people and like relationships. Because just thinking about it now with with Blackwood and Lady Blackwood, for example, that's like the only real relationship that we've seen so far in the witch world because even Sabrina's parents were mortal and like warlock so it's not really like that emotional thing like do real witches like, have relationships do they have yeah. families like is that something that yeah, we see true. that often because I, I we don't see it in the current coven at least so um it'll be interesting to see if they ever dig deeper into like mm -hmm. Wardwell's past and see like what her story mm -hmm. really is because I like her. I think, yeah. you know, like, based on the fact that she's, like, a pure evil, I think she's cool. I like her, too. Yeah. And I really like her as an actress. Yeah, yeah. I really, like, yeah. What's her name? Michelle Gomez? Yeah. So I think she's really cool. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's it from us. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.